We're here. We are live. We are at Charlie's. I was 90 pounds before I started taking these bets. Speaking of Charlie's Barbecue, we do have to go over the very important business. We've, we've talked about this on both of our channels. We've, we've talked about how much we love Charlie's Barbecue. So let's go over. Uh, we've chosen three options. Uh, the brisket, the ribs, and the pulled pork. It looks like we, have we also chicken have too. the chicken, yeah, chicken because, as well. Because Charlie's Barbecue loves us that much. They added in some chicken too. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. So, what do you guys think about the brisket? You guys talk while I eat the brisket. I just like to on video demonstrate. This is me cutting the brisket with a plastic fork. <laughs> I mean, there's times that I've had a Walmart birthday cake that I couldn't cut with a plastic <laughs> fork. Yeah. So he he keeps missing arm day. <laughs> You know, I, I, honestly, it's one of the, the thing that's great about their, their food is, while I do enjoy the sauces, you can eat any of it without a sauce and it's got enough flavor. Uh, that's, that's my thing. Like, yeah. That's, that's the sign of a really good barbecue is that you don't have to smother in anything to get a good flavor. And if you really shouldn't be eating sugars, like, like I should be eating sugars, I should lay off the sauce. But the <laughs> sauce, it calls me in multiple languages at various times of the night. And I answer. So, all right, so what do you think of the brisket? You, you talked about how tender they are. I think the flavor, I love the smoked flavor, and this, this brisket will not make you thin. It's got plenty of fat on it and lots of juiciness, and uh, I love it. Watch. Uh, it right comes out it. with a fantastic bark, the rub that they do on the outside. There's nothing better than trying to catch the, uh, the eye of the cooks when you get to a Red Wolves game, and they slice off just a little bit of that bark and uh, hand it outside the tent to you. <laughs> before you make your order. Um, that is I, good stuff. I feel like I missed out on an opportunity there. I, next year. Next I, I want to point out for anyone you're watching this, it's not that I'm not partaking in the food. It's just that I already ate everything that was my portion. Yeah. <laughs> because he couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. That's just what, what it comes down to. The temptation I was too high. No self-control. So, But when you had the brisket, imagine back, it wasn't that long ago. It really wasn't. So how did that make you feel? Well, so see, so of the of the meats, the brisket's my favorite. So that was what what I ate last. Mm. I saved the, the the best for last. Well, typically it's what I saved for best for last. It's my favorite because it's one of those that you legitimately, like I said, I, you don't have to add anything to it. It's got so much flavor. So that's that's my favorite here. Right now, I just want to say thank you, Raul Jimenez, for um, for your wonderful play, and I'm enjoying this because of you. We move on to the second item, and I gotta say brisket. I, I think it's it's fair to say brisket is their most famous. That's what they're probably most known for in the area. Yes. Partly, now I don't think any of us are from the south. I'm from the west. I'm from Arizona, and uh, so it's, the south is not normally known for brisket. So I think they have that working for it because others aren't doing it well, but they do it amazing. Um, the second item we have here is, and I, I consider this like very high in the monarchy of of barbecue meats is ribs. If it's not if it's not emperor, it could should it should at least be king or high duke at the very least. Uh, so, what are your thoughts on Charlie's ribs? Uh, you take one bite and the rest of the meat just starts tumbling off the bone. Um, excellent smoke flavor again. It's got the you know the wonderful um, color coating on the on the inside when you've cut the ribs apart. Uh, it's yeah, it's amazing. Uh, again, a dry rub, so it's not something that gets real messy to try to eat, but it's got tons of flavor because of the rub. Now I'm using their sweet uh, barbecue or the mild barbecue, which is a sweet one. So if you want to make it messy, you can make it messy. Speaking of which, I'm just napkins. <laughs> awesome. Ribs are my favorite. There was a place in town. Um, that had closed down a few years ago, Dave's famous, uh, um, famous Dave's, and I, that's where I used to go for my birthday. And then they just packed up and left town. And I think last January, I almost cried. <laughs> and uh, we already know where we're gonna be this January for this birthday. So Charlie's was here for me when Dave's just left. Got you through a tough time. It was, it was a very tough time. It was a dark, dark period. Yeah, anyone who has, has ribs or is a ribs connoisseur knows that one of the most important thing with a good with good ribs is to have it be able to just basically fall off the bone, but at the same time have the right amount of um, texture to the taste of the rib meat, and they pull that off perfectly. Mm. It's just a, it's a perfect combo. I love the pink color, which is an indication of not that it's not cooked because it is cooked all the way through, but that only comes from that slow smoking. 
And uh, believe me, I know a little bit about this. All right, so the last on there, what do we have? Because uh, we do have two meats, but we're, we're only comparing three. Mm -hmm. So are we going with the chicken or the pulled pork? Pulled pork's on the list. It's in the rider. The, uh, the pulled pork is good, in my expert opinion. You definitely get the smoke flavor, very moist. Um, I, my favorite thing here again is the burnt end, where you get a lot of the, the flavor and the smoke uh, caught up in that. So that's always my favorite thing to dig for in, uh, in a pile of pulled pork. Um, so yeah, I'm a fan. It, for me, it's one of the, it's the, I, I'm, that's of my, like, when you go to barbecue places, it's the one that's like, every place has it, and yeah. you, some places it's just kind of bland. Once again, mm. it's a thing where there, you can taste the flavor in the meat, mm -hmm. and that's what separates it. Um, pulled pork is one of the more classic ones that you, a lot of times will be dry, mm -hmm. and when it dries out, it just loses its flavor, and this one, once again, it's moist. It's got just the right amount of flavor, and it's not covered in sauce. You go some places, they'll actually put sauce on the pulled pork ahead of time. It's like, you know, like you're trying to hide something. You don't deal with that here. Another. I think excellent. a lot of places, they have to put the barbecue in because it is so dry. And I'm not uh, necessarily a fan. I joke with my wife about pulled pork because, again, where I grew up, that wasn't a thing. And here in the South, um, when, when you say barbecue, I think that's the default. Yep. But to me, I feel like I'm eight years old and someone's cut my meat up for me. And so generally speaking, by default, I like the meat to, to, together. I want to be able to cut it up with a, with a plastic fork if need be. Ha having said that, they, they really have it very juicy to where I do appreciate it. So this is also my favorite pulled pork. It is, a for me, a distant third from the brisket and the ribs. And I go back and forth on brisket and ribs. I'm gonna have to end up with brisket, though, as my top. And actually, Charlie's sometimes will they will put on a video on their on Facebook or, or Twitter where they've massaged that. I, I may have put that onto a little screensaver on my computer. Um, <laughs> well, I think just, that's fair, yeah. Yeah. So so I'm gonna pick my top three, and I'm gonna pick uh, I'm gonna go in the order of brisket, ribs, a very close second, and a distant third pulled pork. Um, I gotta tell you, this pulled pork is speaking to me. Mm. I'm gonna go with the pulled pork, number one. I'm sure that's a shock to everyone as much as I talk about the brisket, which mm. is delicious. Mm. And I'm gonna tell you, once you get a chance to get at that chicken, that dry rub on that chicken is amazing. So, I'm gonna go with the chicken, even though the ribs are fantastic. You can't lose on this. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, cop I'm copying Wolfman here. I'm actually going brisket, ribs, pulled pork. And since we didn't really get into the chicken, the chicken's really good. It's definitely a different taste than what you normally get when you get like a barbecue chicken. It's not that, you know, a lot of times barbecue chicken, especially in the South, is done the same way as pulled pork, which is weird to me. Yeah. Um, and this one's more of a, of a full breast slices, and I, it's good too. But that, that's my order is brisket ribs, pulled pork. When I used to, before I lived here, I lived in, in the Maritimes of Canada. And this is going to... Another sink. local place to go for barbecue. Yes. Um, <laughs> and a, a lot of the guys had fish for not just lobster, but also sardines. And they had told me, when you get sardines, avoid the stuff in sauce. Because it's usually the B-grade sardines that end up being in the red sauce and the mustard sauce. Interesting. And so when I get to a place, when I see pulled chicken and pulled pork, and they've already mixed in the barbecue, to me, I remember that it's actually sardines. No, that it's actually, it may not be the top meat because they may be hiding it in the sauce. Their chicken is not pulled chicken. It is grilled chicken, and it is delicious. Yep. You guys have anything else? No, I'm good. This has been fun. Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you, Charlie's, for letting us invade your space and record. We really appreciate it. We love you guys, and we love their food. Come to Charlie's on Main Street. Uh, close to Dodds Avenue and check out everything that they have. And they'll let you come and bring cameras and impose on the and scare <laughs> the, the dinner guests as they come in. Hey, this has been Soccer in the South, Wolfman Jeff and Soccer, Soccer Chat. Chat.